What up, gang? It's your boy Zap back with another banger. Hey, today I really want to talk about Mendel, his three laws, and how they relate to what we do. All right, and without further ado, let's get straight into it. Get it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You hear me? Yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blower and the long Discord. All right, gang. So Mendel's law is a foundational principles in genetics that are crucial for not only plant breeders but breeders in general. They provide the framework for predicting how traits are inherited from one generation to the next. Understanding these laws allow breeders to make informed decisions when selecting parent plants and predicting outcomes of your crosses so Mendel's first law was the law of segregation it basically explained how traits are passed down from parents to the offspring it can get a little complex when we start to think about alleles and we always talk about alleles and how um, each parent contributes one allele although each parent has two alleles um, those alleles separate during gamete formation. And we want to really understand and talk about gametes and how they separate uh, in, in, you know, in order to come back together. So you can think of gametes like the vehicle that's going to get the traits um, to the offspring from the parents, right? But the, the, the gametes, the vehicle can only hold one trait. And um, alleles, those two alleles that each parent has, remember they only contribute one because the gamete can only hold one allele in the whip, right? And he's delivering it to uh, the offspring. So you're, you're actually more familiar with gametes than you even thought. Uh, because gametes are simply, you know, you could think of uh, they're, they're reproductive cells, right? So, uh, uh, like a female's gamete would be an egg, and a male gamete would be a sperm cell. In the when we talk about humans, the gametes split um, in order to deliver that one allele. So, during meiosis. We talked about meiosis before, right? But um, during meiosis, we talked about the reshuffling of the deck. We spoke about that in some of the previous videos, this reshuffling of the deck that happens. And it creates a new combination of alleles randomly distributed um, into the gametes. So genes for different traits are inherited independently, meaning that uh, the inheritance of one trait, let's say seed color, for example, d won't affect the inheritance of another trait like seed shape. All right, gang, before we get into the last law, let's make sure we comment, like, subscribe, and show your support for your boy. You know, I'm out here grinding, man. I'm also in school, college full time. We also work a full time job, we also a parent. A good dad, you know, so much love. Shout out to all the good dads out there. You know what time it is, but make sure you check out AC Infinity and use that code Team Zaza at checkout. And make sure you grab some gear from ZazaGenetics.com. If you want to grab some dead ops on sale, you want to have a good, strong foundation and utilize the sale while it's hot. Much love to all my supporters, man. And um, let's get right back into this third one. But comment, like, and subscribe. It helps me out a ton, man. I need the subscription. The channel is growing. And um, I want to provide more content for y'all. So let's keep the algorithm lit. So for this example, we got the good old Punish Square, baby. Yeah. The good old Punish Square. So, um, and what we have here is... Mom, up top, look like she's providing um, heterozygous tall situation. 
And we'll say that's dad on the side there, providing a heterozygous uh, tall situation as well. So, um, big T representing um, dominant tall and little T representing uh, runt or a dwarf. And um, both of them are heterozygous for uh, big T, little T, which means both parents are showing two different alleles, one dominant, one recessive, one tall, one short, right? And if you look inside our boxes here, First box, big T, big T. That's a homozygous tall. Guaranteed um, you coming out with a tall offspring. Under that, you got a heterozygous situation. Big T, little t. Also, this is what we're talking about. Our law of dominance kicks in. That big T is always going to mask the little t. Same situation, top right. Um, and then... Bottom right, we're looking at uh, recessive homozygous runt. So um, we're looking at a three-to-one ratio, ultimately, if we were to use our Punnett square to predict. And that's a, that's a perfect example of using a Punnett square to predict um, a, a possibility or probability or ratio um, and, and what the offspring may, may uh, exhibit. So... And there you have it, man. That is Mendel's three laws, and they are super important in terms of what we do because it's the foundation of our practices. And then once we build a strong foundation, we can step outside of those practices uh, and start to uh, focus on some non-Mendelian uh, mechanics and tools to add to our toolbox. So much love, gang. I love y'all. Um, Make sure you join the Discord. I'm always in there. 9 p.m. I'm actually live tonight. Instagram live. 10 p.m. Eastern. I had to look at the clock real quick. It's uh, 8. So we'll see how quick we get this video up, man. Much love, y'all. Uh, appreciate y'all. And I'm out of here, man. Kick ball. The strain. <laughs> it's killing my lungs for day and it's easing my brain. I'm losing control. My body's immune. It's all the same. Except for genetics because they got the flame. Roll up a three if you I gain, puff it and pass it, the cipher remains In the 360, y'all niggas ain't ready I'm steaming the pot like I'm cooking spaghetti Now you with opposite, you smoking that ready I hit the dead ops, y'all niggas ain't ready Breaking it down, it look like a Freddy They're going to Mac, I be feeling so heavy A couple of rounds, come from the dead Cause we some gorillas and moving it heavy